Hey lightweights, welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption. Um, last video was super emotional for me. We finally caught up to Javier and Bill. Uh, so if you haven't caught last video, please make sure that you go back and watch that first. Uh, just because I'm, from here on out, I can't guarantee that I won't spoil anything from that. Um, it was emotional. I had a really hard time with it. It was really well done, I think, but I had a really hard time with it. Uh, I have done a ton of stuff off camera since then, though. Um, I'm excited to show you everything that I've done. Also, you guys keep reminding me that I keep forgetting about the Stranger Mission in Sidewinder Gulch. So I am at Sidewinder Gulch, just outside where I'm going to pick up the Stranger Mission. So I'm going to start with that. Um, and then I collected everything that I needed for the, the Stranger Mission with the guy with the flying machine. Uh, so I'm going to turn that in on camera as well. There's another Stranger Mission in Blackwater. I'm going to do that as well. I promise I'm going to do every Stranger Mission that I possibly can. Um, I will make sure to have at least one or two main missions in this video too, but I am going to do those three Stranger Missions since they are here because I don't want to miss them. I don't want to progress to a point in the story where I A, don't want to go back and do them, or B, can't do them anymore simply because of timeline. I don't know if... Um, this game is similar to RDR2 in terms of if you don't do it in time, you can lose it. Like with the Charlotte mission in RDR2, if you don't do that in a certain time frame, she disappears. Um, I'm not going to say why. Spoilers. Uh, so um, I'm going to make sure that I do those. If there's any other that you're noticing that I'm missing, please make sure that you let me know so that I can do those. Thank you for everyone who's been reminding me of this one inside Sidewinder Gulch. I think that's it. Um, I'm just going to log on and show you what I've done off camera so far. I think you guys will be really impressed and really proud. Uh, and then we will get into the gameplay. But before we do that, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video because I have a feeling the rest of the game is going to be super intense and amazing. And I'm very excited and I hope that you are too. All right, here you go, you guys. All right, before we get into anything, the first thing I want to show you is... Ta-da! I did them all with the help of Mr. Light on some of them. The cougar was a pain in the tuchus. Um, I was able to lasso it eventually. I three times was chasing down a cougar and then it just disappeared. So that was frustrating, uh, but we did it. The bear challenge was actually easier for me than the cougar, but I don't know what was going on. Bears in this game always come in groups of two. So if you see one, there's always a second one. Um, but for whatever reason, this time when I was playing, I'm not even exaggerating when I tell you there was 12 bears. Yeah, because I ended up with 16. Yeah, there was 12 bears. It was ridiculous. I was running. I was shooting. It was crazy. I wish I was recording. But I can't record everything. You never know when something fun is going to happen. So, anyways, I did that. Also, oh my gosh, my phone is going crazy. I'm not even popular. I don't understand. Um, <laughs> so, I unlocked um, this one. So, the only thing I need to do is purchase the scrap, but I can't buy it yet, so I just need to progress further in the story. And, because I did all the challenges, I have the Legend of the West, which I am currently wearing, and it looks so badass! So there's some more outfits still. Um, I'm working on this, but obviously you need to finish the game. So I'm having fun with that, and I'm pretty proud of myself. I was really excited when it was done. <laughs> The last survivalist challenge where you needed to go around and get herbs, every type of herb, was kind of tedious, but other than that, they really weren't bad. The cougar one was just killer. Literally. Hello, sir. Hola. Hola, señor. ¿Cómo está? Hay una piedra que parece así. Vaya, que es muy importante. No, comprende. Oh, we can use English if you prefer. Or Dutch, maybe. German, Italian, yes, no. English Dang. is fine. When, as I was saying, have you seen a rock that looks like this? I'm trying to track down a family heirloom left here by my tatarabuelo. Not sure I get your meaning. Uh, my 
great-grandfather? No, great-great-grandfather. Yes, anyway, a great man. So, he was given a map to a treasure hidden in the hills of Nuevo Paraíso by the Aztecs shortly before he burned a lot of them for heresy. Like I said, a great man. And the first key is finding this rock right here. Unfortunately, I am not the great adventurer my abuelo was. I'm having no luck whatsoever. And my wife and children, stuck in the capital, continue sending me wires asking, when am I going to see my papi again? And I tell them, it is Aztec gold, you ungrateful wretches. Aztec gold. And if that ain't teaching the young right from wrong, nothing will. Well, exactly. Ah, uh, you certainly look like the type who can get things done. I would, of course, offer a reward if you would aid me. Actually, we were not properly introduced. Basilio Aguirre Olmos de la Vargas. John Marston. Mm -hmm. Let me see that map. It's very trustworthy of this man who just met. Meet me back at El Matadero. Sure. Farewell, Marston. To fame and fortune. Like, he doesn't know us at all. We could just take this map, find the pieces, and just be like, hey, treasure for us. Not go back. So trustworthy. Worthy? Trustworthy. I'm always making up new words in these. Should probably not be on our horse if we're scaling a ledge. Just doesn't seem mm, like a good plan. Easy. Very dramatic way to open the chest. Do you see the tumbleweed flying through the air? Look at it. <laughs> it's defying gravity. Okay. Um, journal, I think. Yeah, there we go. You have acquired another piece of Basilio's map which has clues to the next treasure location in Primera Quebrada? Find the next piece of Basilio's treasure map there. I don't know where that is. I hope it's on the map. Oh, it is. Oh, look at how sweet these people are putting these things on the map for me. <laughs> okay. Also, I was given the heads up that I should not fast travel anymore when doing main story things. So I am not going to. However, I am going to fast travel to these uh, stranger mission locations because it shouldn't impact anything if I do. Oh, I see a chest up here. Also got the achievement for getting $10,000 and bought every type of, I don't know if they're legendary weapons. Oh, we're having some interesting encounters here in Sidewinder Gulch. <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying to get 100% completion for that last outfit. Ugh. So I'm doing everything that I need to do for that. currently working on bounties for it, um, which I considered doing on camera, but unfortunately, Come on. since this is not my full-time job, it's hard to record everything, because you wouldn't think it would add that much time to the process, but it really does, because I have to do my makeup, pick out an outfit, that right there like takes an hour. And then <laughs> I have to set up. 
so I can't just like play in my sweatpants on the couch. I mean, I'm sure I could. You guys probably wouldn't mind, but <laughs> I would mind. I don't under- wait, I want to read that. <laughs> Look how awesome we look in this outfit. Okay, what's this say? I don't understand infinity. What does that mean? I don't understand your I don't understand. Twenty-four dollars, we're rich. I think I can actually make a camp here. Oh, I didn't think I was gonna be able to. I'm glad I tried. For the first time ever when I was exploring, I also got bit by a snake. Give me a heart attack. I was not expecting it. Why you gotta be so slow with that? <laughs> it's like my grandpa when he opens presents. He has to peel off every little side. He doesn't want to rip the paper. So he goes so slow, he says he's enjoying the process. I'm like, just open it! <laughs> it's freaking John with this uh, chest. Just open it! So slow. I don't know why I put a marker there. I just, you know, have it. <laughs> I needed to, to know how to get to this building over here. So far away. Also, I was happy to know that I need to purchase every property in order to get 100% completion. So here I am, thinking that I'm doing something totally unnecessary just because I want to. <laughs> For no point or purpose. But there was a point and a purpose. Or there is. I still haven't purchased them all, but... Oh, he's down? Where are you? Did you find it? Oh my god, he blended in! <laughs> Marston, you have it. Por favor. Let me see it. I've been waiting here, wringing my hands with expectation. It sounds unpleasant. Oh, this is it. Yes. Yes. We're in luck. Do you know what this might be? Must be right around here someplace. Is it, right? is it really? Yes. It looks like it's in those caves over there. Basilio, wait! <laughs> You guys, it's gonna be nothing, and I'm gonna laugh, and I'm gonna feel bad at the same time. Oh, these are not caves that you want to go in. Ooh, this is a bad, bad plan. back. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get so turned around. Basilio! Just 
like every other treasure hunter. He's gone crazy. Next time we see him, he's gonna be like Seth. Here. No, 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 no. It has to be here. Basilio, hold on. Have you ever been down here before? A mere technicality, I assure you. Now, if I could just find this damn gold. I think it might be right here. Really? Here. Let's hurry. Finally. So long. Goodbye, poverty. Goodbye, defeat. Hello, Vane. Oh, my God. I hope it's actually something. Come to me. What? This can't be. No. After ten years of my life. Wait, I want to see what it was. Poor Basilio. Go turn this one in now and then I will do a main mission and then the stranger mission in Blackwater. I don't think. I hope we don't watch him fly because, based off the ingredients he wanted, hey, can you? It's oh, not gonna go again, well. Sir. Oh, you are kind. Thank you for bringing me these materials. I'll be cooking up a batch of adhesive in no time. Glad to be of service. Let me know when your machine's ready for your maiden voyage. Oh, I will indeed, sir. I'd like witnesses to the glory of man soaring through the air like an eagle. An eagle, sir! Oh, my name's not Charles Kinnear. Oh, no. This is an extremely delicate process. I don't mean to be rude, but I really can't be distracted. Now I have to go all the way to Blackwater. One oh one, one oh two, 
103, 105, 106. I'm here to see Mr. Ross. 107, 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 115. 116. 117. I'm nervous for this, you guys. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, oh, yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has, shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston. Your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay. Oh, he's such a prick. <sighs> oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. What was that about? 43. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. <gasps> oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. In a long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. Bye, Nigel. 344. 345. He's like, what now? All right, Mr. Fordham, onward! Look at us in our fancy automobile. Isn't this something? Lawmakers and lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization. Like you always say, sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. I can't imagine I ever said anything quite so trite. In any case, I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. 
Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're offering him. Son of a whore. You best watch your damn mouth! And it's strange you should say that, Mr. Marston, because according to my files, you are the whore's son. Now, what else can I recall from the files? Oh, let's see. You killed hundreds of innocent people. You've robbed at least 40 banks that we're aware of. They told us there was a prize when you got to 50. I'm glad this is all such a joke to you. I want my family. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families, too. Come now, you're stupid. But you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be. And it could be all over today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and play being a farmer again, or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you will. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A chance at redemption. You can't erase your past, Mr. Marston. But we can. <gasps> She's running well, sir. Did Arthur Such give him TV? an elegant way to travel. What do you think of this automobile, Mr. Marston? Slow, but so convenient and reliable. Are you comfortable? No. You see this, Mr. Fordham? The brooding cowboy. There aren't many of these left, you know. A bit of a cliche, admittedly, but still a dying breed, like the buffalo. Just as dumb, but not quite as noble. They move most really? cows by rail these days, I hear. Not where I'm from, they don't. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. This is the age of the machine. And soon, we'll all be living on the moon. Maybe. This is the future. Anything is possible. Finally, this godforsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. In the form of assholes like you. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. Oh, of course you will. do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Come on, then, Marston. You're with me. Quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, and get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. Please tell me we get to shoot these guys. That's all I want to do. Seems real quiet, don't you think? You yeah, tell too me. quiet. I don't like it. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. <laughs> it doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. It's a trap. Did you hear that? Go see what's happening up there. I'll wait here. Oh, you pansy. Hurry, there's somebody up there. Yep, where are the freaking stairs? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. A 
What the heck? Okay, I need more stairs. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks to when I did that mission with Bill <laughs> with the dynamite and I couldn't find the <laughs> stairs up the lighthouse or whatever the heck it was. There's stairs down. Okay, I know I'm blind sometimes, but this blind, really? Anyways, that kept failing the mission on me. <laughs> At least this didn't fail the mission. Over here! I found him! Good God, that's her informant! Gnosis, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap! Shit, Marston! You'll have to carry this man! I don't think you can walk! Oh, great. Bastard! Come on, we need to get him to safety! body how much faster do you want me to move oi Once again, Dutch has aligned himself with the Native Americans. And once again, he's using them to his advantage. Follow you, you're not moving. Keep going! I can't see any more of them. Come on, follow me. <laughs> Can you bring the car down, please? This guy's heavy. Look at us run. Who's this? What in He's God's dancing. name is going on? Oh, we're almost there, Jed. We're almost there. Martin, lift this fellow into the back seat. Sure, I'll do everything for you. Why not? So we can get out of here. Let's go, there might be more of them. Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? There was a trap, they were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? 
This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh, yes he does, sir. He's the informant, Nostas. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat, then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. Especially when one of them's an office clerk, or social secretary or some you such. You shut your mouth! Is that about Kent? Kind of looked like a cougar. Come on, not now. Oh yeah, very reliable. I don't know. The motor just gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. It's Dutch's men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Fordham, we'll fix that damn engine. This way. Oh, yeah, great cover. going to help you. I killed all of them, you moron. That make me angry. I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn that. Who killed the horse? We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You'll make me blush with all these kind words. So much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, God help us all. It's not the automobile. Bad workmen shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse... I was trying to escape an ambush, sir. Even if it was running fine, they'd still have caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. <laughs> Give me a horse any day. So what now? Do I get to see my family? Where is Dutch Vanderland? I don't know. In that case, oh boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston, even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you'd like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. No, you've said enough. We'll find Vanderland soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it feel, taking a man's wife and child from him? Does it make you feel good? How does it feel to kill hundreds of men in cold blood? You're a coward. You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. Marston. Come now, try to look on the bright side. The bright side? There ain't no bright side. Your family is enjoying a much needed vacation in far more luxurious surroundings than those to which they are accustomed, I am sure. Soon you will be able to start a new life together absolved of all your sins. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal, see what he can get out of them. Good they idea, to sir. I just can't communicate with them. Here we are. Thank God for that. So... This is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed, but he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross, uh, Mr. Fordham? Good day, good day. What on earth's going on here? 
Kid got shot in the leg. Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal, mm -hmm. we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you His do. His skin is very Professor pallid. Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thought. What a gross day. Yeah. Ooh. Let's go see what this stranger mission is all about. And then I should have time for another main mission, I think. Hello there, sir. You look like a man who can do an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Then looks can be deceiving, pal. <laughs> Perfect. As honesty is, in my business, the worst policy. I work for our well-respected governor, Nate Johns. That makes sense. Now, there is a certain individual spreading nasty rumors about Mr. Johns. I'd like you to put a stop to this vile gossip and malingering. Suppose I can handle that? For the right price? Now, this individual has had the misfortune to be photographed enjoying some rather inappropriate company. Been seen with a local whore. Take these photographs to him. After you take care of business, return to me and I'll pay up the reward for your services. You're doing great things for your state, dear friend. You should be proud. I'm having flashbacks to San Denis. Strike while the iron's hot, I always okay. Alright, and then you guys recommended that I do a couple missions with Agent Ross first before I do the missions with the professor. Oh, Fella, what do you think of our governor, Nate Johns? Nate Johns? Why, that no good lying, backstabbing bastard, I like to see him horse whipped. <laughs> Why you ask, friend? Need to make sure I had the right man. Would you care to take a quick look at a couple photographs of you coming out of a fine place of not much repute? What? Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah, <laughs> uh, as I was saying, uh, before I was so rudely interrupted, Nate Johns is a fine, fine man and an even better governor. Oh. And I consider it an honor to call him my friend. <laughs> Wise man. He didn't even look at the pictures. <clears throat> we could have had pictures of, like, kittens. He doesn't know. What the heck? Easiest blackmail ever. That's not the way out. You made your point. Yes, I'm leaving. Oh, this lady's standing on a chair. She's like, I'm going to make my point heard. What you doing, ma'am? Why, hello, Mr. Marston. Oh. <laughs> Putting on a show. Um, there. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. 
An informer just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow? This way. What are you looking at? Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there. That door is the only way in oh and out God. of the building. So cover it tight. Do you see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitch them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. I'm nervous to see what Dutch looks like. Because I stepped fully on. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Okay. Someone's coming out. He's unarmed. Hold your fire. The bastard's <gasps> killed. Open fire. Oh, yeah, okay. Watch the door. They're trying to run out. Hopkins and Manny. Get Dutch. Be careful. There may be some innocent people there. <sighs> they probably are all dead. We can take them! Based off your shooting on the roof, I'm not so sure. Come on, let's get in there! This way! This is gonna be another goose chase, and he's not going to be in there. Holy shit! Shoot the doors open. Let's go! Watch out, for hostages! This way. Please don't kill me! Come on, buddy. You are about to get a serious wound. Oh wow! I just got wrecked by a shotgun. Shit! <laughs> okay. Let's move! They'll cover the windows from up top. Um. Shoot! I don't remember what. I can't remember what gun I like. Maybe I should go with my shotgun. Shoot the lock off that door! Move in! Keep an eye out for civilians! Help me! Please! I ain't gonna tell you shit! You almost got back to hell off! You were gonna lose! Oh my god! You know Help why? Me. Because you ain't smart enough! Please don't kill me! What the heck? No. I ain't playing here! What in the world? Get yourself up. We can end this piece. That seems like an innocent guy. <laughs> you think you're tough guy, do you? You people get out of 
out of here. Head to the town hall. I never. Good work. Dutch ain't down here. He's got to be hiding upstairs somewhere. Chances to walk away. Oh, it's nice to see you, John. Hello, Dutch. That's not Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. Ain't seen her for a while. Because you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No. Oh, he must be what? 15? 16? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint. But equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch. By making compromises, we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? You always were the romantic sort. You know, Gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. No! God damn! I don't see him! What the hell happened in there? This is your fault, Marston! You what got a gun too, Sheriff! You? you waited too long! Next time I'll just shoot the girl! That's enough! Come on, let's find the bastard! Run up! You went this way! Dutch has stopped trying to let's be go. his... His dapper self and has embraced the ruggedness of life on the run. I was not expecting that. Hey, what happened in there? We saw Vanderlyn escaping from some men. He stole off with the bank manager in an automobile. Let's just say, Dutch ain't gone and got himself safe. He killed some poor woman. There's an old logging camp further down this road. It's been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Come on, follow me. That's the great Dutch! What a role model! The man who made you who you are! I guess so. Has he changed? No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? Did he tug on your heartstrings? It kinda reminds me of you. Violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? Now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My sight was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah! I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. Who the hell are you fellers anyway? Lawmen or army? There's the car! They must abandon it and continue on foot! Take offense to that. Not Molly O'Shea. 
I met Miss Grimshaw. Sorry, I could not multitask at the same time. <laughs> Clearly, I still can't. I English good, you guys. trying to move and I was stuck. Uh. Oh! There's so many of them. Get yourself up. 
gonna die again! bad I was at the sniper sequences in RDR2. I feel like I'm much improved in this game. The stopping power in this bolt action is just beautiful. I love his comments after he defeats people. Where's Dutch Marston? He got away. Why the fuck do you keep Scared asking to me? Him? Too much to handle. When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him. Don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. I hope that medal is a bullet lodged in your skull. Sorry, was that harsh? It's a freaking prick. Well, folks, we did it. It wasn't pretty. Manzanita Post is so cute. I spent some time there and I loved it. I was waiting for a bounty poner. It wasn't bounty poster. <laughs> it wasn't intentional. However, it was cute nonetheless. Gave me some uh, Frontierland vibes from Disney. Disney World. Sorry, I say Disney, but Disney World specifically. I guess Disneyland too, but... I kind of want to do one more. Um, I get a lot of comments, and by a lot, I mean I've gotten three. Incredible. So not a lot. Simply incredible. But... Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. Ha <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but 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 with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Ah, uh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. So it's a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. It takes one back to a primal state. It helps my thinking yeah, enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? 
or, or, or skin a rabbit. <clears throat> I know we cannot see the stars, but still my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills, in Cochine. Let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. A scientist, a criminal, and a savage. <laughs> what a strange trinity we make. Follow There's me. There's a joke in there somewhere. Let's go. So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderlyn. You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no. What is it with you people out here? No, Vanderlyn fascinates me. A white man living among natives. A civilized mind turned savage. It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation that... Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. He liked to think he was, though. Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. Ah. Well, anyway, yes. Uh, some kind of Robin Hood Oedipus communist... Tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. I wouldn't try to read too much into it. It's my job to read too much into everything, dear boy. trees before? I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. It's this way, Soda. mister. Oh my god, oh this Lord, is... no. I rarely leave my room. I explore with a mind, Mr. Master. Enjoy it while you still can. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. Me? Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There is no respect for the land anymore. I'm sensing some hostility, Nastas. Some anger. Talk me through this primal emotion, where it's coming from. Don't worry about it, Professor. This is kind of where I was when I was attacked by all those bears. what I was going to say before I walked in for the mission. And I can't remember now. Yeah. There's the cliff. We'll leave the horses here and climb the rest of the way. It kind of sounds like Dutch sometimes. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I've got work to do. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the help. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy He's definitely yourselves. getting eaten by those wolves. Let's get moving, mister. Doesn't he? Didn't he hear Dutch there? that arm strength. Look at us.
time. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. Okay. <laughs> Getting a little uncharted action here. is really pretty. Oh, I remember what I was going to say now. <laughs> um, I've had a couple comments of people asking why I always do missions oh. at night. Um, it happens to just be an unfortunate coincidence because when I record, I just don't have the time to always sleep so that it's the daytime for the missions. So I just play progressively through my playthrough. Whatever time that happens to be, it happens to be. Um, so I apologize for those of you who wish I did more things during the day, but like I said before, I have to record in the time constraints that I have. There's a cave over here. It might go through or up the mountain. If I stopped to sleep every single time I did a mission so that it was daytime out, I it would just take me forever and I just don't have that kind of time. Nor do I have the patience. Um... And I think some of them have been quite beautiful at night. Yes, so. look at this. A mine shaft. This feels like another trap. This way. <laughs> oh, we got him. I think you should go any further. I'll be fine. But you go. Oh my god, ahead. I'm having flashbacks. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're alright? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. Don't worry about me. Go look for Vanderlyn. Good luck. Go on. You don't want to miss your chance. I'll I do want to miss my chance, actually. <sighs> Where's Charles? I miss Charles and Sadie. Oh my god, that's a freaking bear! Where is it? <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna maul me. <laughs> it's up there.
was gonna say, you should not be alive after that. Let's make this quick. Vittles lit. This is dirty. <laughs> Graceful, John. Graceful. Don't know where I'm supposed to be. Oh, going. <laughs> this is okay. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm going that way. I was kind of just climbing because I could. And it worked out in my favor, I suppose. kind of like a bittersweet feeling because the last game ended with this type of a scene, but we also got to kill Micah. I also lost all respect for Dutch. I know that there's a lot of discourse about head injury or I don't know, just different opinions on what happened to Dutch he was always that way and just showed his true colors versus if a head injury kind of just brought out the worst in him. Truth is, he left John and Arthur to die and it broke my heart and this is going to be hard but I don't think it's going to be emotional because it's kind of like a Micah feeling to me. Like, it's about time that you got your just desserts, I guess. So I don't know, we'll see. Sometimes I surprise myself about being emotional about things. How do I crouch again? Okay. This generally isn't a game where I'm crouching through things, so I kind of forgot. Close enough. Why are they glowing green? We've got alien binoculars, you guys. Respect for that dude, he just walked right over him. Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston? Here you go, Mr. Marston. Put that stuff away. You banged your head. Nastas and I carried you down. Mm. Uh, well, 
uh, Nastus uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. Thank and you. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters. Before, this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Well, sure, it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid <laughs> man, mister. Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Then again... <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 Dutch is rough in it now. Um, he used to always have a noble look about him, if you will, with his, his suits and his top hat and, you know, he just had a look like he was trying to be upper class, like he had this wanting to be part of the, the muckety mucks, the rich folk. Um, all of that pretense is gone now. His personality, from what I can tell, seems the same as it did at the end of the last game, and I feel like they did a great job of showing his character progression from the Dutch at the beginning of RDR2 to the Dutch at the end of RDR2 and bridging that so that they seem like the same character um, in terms of personality. But wow, he's, he's like, he's roughing it now. He's not even trying with his clothes anymore. He's got more of a frontiersman, westerny, surviving out in the wild look to him. Um, I'm curious to see if he was wearing that necklace in RDR too, because I don't remember it, but I now want to go back and look and see if it was a subtle thing that they had there. So I'd be curious to see about that. Um, I kind of already gave my thoughts on having to go kill Dutch. I, I'm not emotional about it right now. That doesn't mean I won't be. But at this moment, I'm, I'm okay. I kind of feel like I want my revenge. And Arthur always said, revenge is a fool's game. You don't want to do that. Don't look back. But sometimes it just feels good to look back. <laughs> um, I know that getting revenge on Micah is what got us into this mess. So who knows what killing Dutch will do. But he just, he broke my heart last game, you guys. He broke it. And I'm, I'm ready for that revenge, I think. <laughs> um, so I'll be curious to see what happens, how many more times we encounter him, if it's going to be similar to Bill, where we got close to him three, four, I can't remember how many times, and then he escaped, or we thought we found him, but he wasn't there. Um, we've kind of already had that a couple times with Dutch, so I'm wondering how many more times it's going to happen. It would have been fitting, I think, if the end... Of Dutch was on that mountain so I'll be curious to see if there is another mountain scene where things end with Dutch or not um, but I don't know I'm excited I really am excited um, I thought these missions were good thank you guys for telling me to do the the missions with agent Ross first before the missions with this professor guy um, because I feel like it made more sense that way so I'm excited to keep playing I'm excited to learn more about this Nastus character, uh, getting a little bit of a mix between Charles and Rainsfall kind of vibe there, uh, so that's kind of nice, pulling at the heartstrings a little bit. Uh, I do miss Charles. It is interesting that Dutch is with Native Americans again. He definitely is still an expert at using people's pain and anger and twisting it to fit his agenda, so I'll be curious to see how all that plays out, because it didn't end well for the Native Americans last time. Uh, have a feeling it's not going to end well for them this time. But who knows? So, I'm excited to keep playing. I hope that you enjoyed the playthrough. If you did enjoy this video and the rest of the playthrough, and you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do, so that you know when I post the next video. And as always, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Have a great day.